A producer's role is to capture moments, translating an artist's vision into something a listener will believe and connect to. A lot of the time, those special moments come when you least expect them. That could be at home, on the tour bus, or even in a hotel room. I've always been inspired by the lengths D'Angelo goes to to capture those moments. He had to learn how to use a 24-track tape machine in order to keep in line with the rest of the album tracking. Despite it weighing over 200 kilos, he used to take the tape machine up to his hotel rooms and record vocals by himself. I love and respect the idea of that, and the rules of the game haven't changed. Technology has just evolved to a point where those kind of extremes may not be necessary. Now it's faster, easier, and more accessible to create quality music wherever you are. Yes, what's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome to the humble abode. It's cool to be in the middle of a session, man. I am writing at the moment. I'm working on a little something I was doing with Joseph Lawrence in the garden. It's called Dawn. I'm not the best at finishing stuff at the studio. <laughs> so we started the studio, they give us a little something to work with. And then I come back and I write. This one was emotional, so I needed some alone time. You get close up, I get close up. I really like this get between us. I think I'm ready to lay some verses down. So, what's the setup? It's got the Ventor Synergy Core. Well, I've got a little scratch mic. But if people want to come up and they want to lay down some guitar or anything, we've got inputs for that. Plug the keyboard in. Um, I'm not gonna embarrass myself and try and tell you how many inputs there are on this, but there's a lot. Uh, we get caught a lot on the basics, cause we talk a lot but don't say shit. Problems start in our household and we'll walk along but don't face it. But none of us wanna go chasing. How we really gonna chase it? You get close up, I get closed off, everything left between us. Uh, I need to write some more. I had to put the dream catcher on top because these are my dreams. Um, but these are things that I've done already. So I like to try and capture the moment. The dream has been caught. <laughs> right, let's actually get this down at mugs. Let's take a little journey. I'll take the baby with us. And this song followed the conversation I had with him. Um, we was talking about imposter syndrome, not wanting to get too close to some people and, you know, barriers. We opened the conversation together, but it's not really the type of thing that I could explore with other people in the room, so. To be honest, I actually really like the journey. Um, I, when it works, because Monk lives in the middle of nowhere, there's a train that runs once an hour and there's only two carriages and it doesn't run on Sundays. You miss that one, you're pissed. It's like, it's like when you used to go into school without doing your homework. You do it on the bus. Sometimes I've got to ride the bars on the train or tell Monk. <laughs> Josh, beautiful. Now, but give me give me that whole thing again, but don't go back to that verse beat. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's, let's have it. Let's have it. I built the Friary Studios around my love of using vintage analog gear. The character, warmth and colour that it brings has really shaped my sound as a producer. A quick and easy way for artists and producers to come close to that sound is by using software emulations of that same vintage gear. Deacon, for example, is a busy artist and is always on the move. His laptop takes a hammering and frankly sometimes sounds like a helicopter taking off when he tries to run lots of plugins. What we found exciting about the new Zentor Synergy Core was its six processing chips that mean all those plugins are now on an external device, giving that poor laptop a breather, and actually means the plugin emulations sound much better. Well, tell me how you're feeling inside. 
I don't wanna walk on a tight bro. Everything we do is implied. It's just little old dust in this big ass place. We got too much room for the guests between us. I get distant, you don't listen. Fight till there ain't much left between us. Shit gets awkward, energy's altered. Everything goes unchecked between us. You get close up, I get closed off. How we let this get between us? I go walking, you go talking about shit that should have been kept between us. Could have been nipped in the bud for the love, but it's fucked because it never got said between us. Now we're in a place we both on the take, but we both and the other don't give enough. But our distances and our differences, I think the problem is we're too similar. Go. Going back to the idea of capturing moments, a lot of artists prefer to be left alone for some of the nitty gritty of the writing process, especially lyrics. Having something like the Zen tour means that Deacon can stay after hours and keep on getting vocal ideas down. He could grab any guitar or keyboard lying around the studio and record spur of the moment ideas through the eight analog inputs. Its eight line outputs are also DC coupled, meaning he could easily get into some modular synthesis if he wanted to. He could even go as far as using my amps, pedals and tape delays through the two reamp outputs. All of a sudden, having this little box gives Deacon the power to control the whole studio by himself. Beautiful. So you know you're fine. Beautiful. Cool, man. See you in the morning. Right and early. Off. off, please, bro. You. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Cool. I've just got to get this done. Let's do it. We get caught a lot on the basics, cause we talk a lot but don't say shit. Problems start in our household and we'll walk along but don't face it. None of us want to engage it. Have we... <laughs> None of us want to engage it. How we really going to change it? Both got shit we could talk about. None of us want to go chasing. Got a voice but... Yeah. You've got a side that you don't want to show. takes last night though. Um, I haven't heard them but I think that was actually alright. I'm gonna have a quick listen to them before Mark gets here. Morning morning sir. How's it going? Fam. I think we got it. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, let me come around and have a listen. Oh, come on, take a seat. Back in the day, an artist needed an engineer next to them at all times to run a mixing desk and enable the writing and recording process. The Zen tour feels like a bridge between the artist and that complex equipment. It simplifies the workflow and allows whoever's using it to be creative while recording audio that's good enough quality to be used on the record. Lovely, lovely. Let's get this in. We get caught a lot on the basis, cause we talk a lot but don't say shit. Trouble start in our household and we'll walk along but don't face it. None of us wanna engage it. How we really gonna change this? 
Both got shit we could talk about But none of us wanna go chasing Got a voice but I don't wanna raise it To a place where I don't wanna go I know I don't open enough But you got a side that you don't wanna show So how you gonna tell me what I know? You don't tell me how you're feeling inside I don't wanna walk in a tightrope Everything we do is implied At the end of the day, making music is about the journey and the process, not just the end result. It's about the moments, sounds and experiences you can capture. The Zen is unique in that it's simple enough for artists with no engineering experience, yet powerful enough for professional engineers and producers. It really feels like Antelope has created something special that makes sure these moments won't be missed. Church, but the fe the feeling the is just going to be church yeah. at the end of all of that. Come on, man.